Welcome back to Vision Miner 3D Printing News. Today we're talking about researchers developing a dynamic 3D printing bed to make supports totally obsolete. Let's get into it. Researchers over at USC's Viterbi School of Engineering have revealed a revolutionary innovation in FDM 3D printing that makes supports nearly completely obsolete. Nearly. Now, Professor Yang Chen and his team have created a low-cost, reusable support method that uses a dynamic 3D printing platform, which greatly reduces the amount of support material needed to make complex FDM parts. The work was recently published in the Additive Manufacturing Journal, which is linked in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Now, instead of a completely static build plate, as it sounds, a plate, a build plate, this concept actually uses a programmable build plate that uses movable metal pins to greatly reduce the number of supports needed. Now, the current prototype they have has shown that they can save over 35% of the material in a print, and most of that is in the supports. Now, you might be thinking this seems like overkill when normal filaments cost around $25 a kilo, and you'd be right. Where this printer really comes into play is the specialty sectors of FDM, where materials can reach sky-high prices. We specialize in Peak and Ultim, and that's anywhere from $200 to $800 a kilogram. To quote, I work with biomedical doctors who 3D print using biomaterials to build tissue or organs, said Shen. Many of the materials they use are very expensive. We're talking small bottles that cost between $500 to $1,000 each. For standard extrusion printers, the material cost is around $50 a kilogram. But for bioprinting, it's more like $50 per gram. So if we could save 30% on material that would have gone into printing the support structures, then that's a huge cost saving for 3D printing in biomedical areas. Now, Chen also mentioned that this method would not only reduce the environmental and cost impacts of waste materials, but it also saves time by eliminating a significant amount of material from the process, which means it doesn't have to be printed, knowing that he and his team saw print times reduced to up to 40%. Now, it's a crazy looking prototype, but what makes it different compared to preceding concepts is the massive reduction in moving parts. Previously developed dynamic print beds required motors on each pin, and thus 100 moving pins times $10 means you now have a $1,000 print bed. But this isn't even including the, the control boards and the software necessary to actually put it all together and make it work. So Chen's prototype uses a single motor to raise the necessary pins at the same time, making it a more cost-effective solution. The custom slicing software will tell the user where to add in the metal tubes into the platform and then erases them at the right moment during the printing process. To quote, people are already building material extrusion and deposition printers for large size car and ship bodies as well as for consumer products such as furniture. As you can imagine, their building times are really, really long, like talking a whole day to print one piece. Now, if you can save half of that, your manufacturing time can be reduced to half of a day, effectively doubling your production. Now, using their approach can also bring a lot of benefits for that type of 3D printing. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. It really helps us out with the YouTube gods. And uh, don't miss out on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. Until then, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.